cubed. Forgot to do my Z height. Always. Ugh. There we go. Stop. Okay, there we go. Now I can start it. Um, start routine. found zero. Now I need to uh, come here. I want to select my probe and calibrate. And what that's going to do is it's going to send it all the way over here and uh, touch off. Then I can swap tools in. <laughs> So, calibration complete, click OK, raise my Z height up to, uh, I, I take it off as soon as this hits 1, because I don't want to go too high. Alright, so, set you all up here. bad boy in there now. Ah, shoot. Everything's slippery with coolant. Alright, so now I will get my offset. All I have to do is that. And it's going to offset my new tool in comparison to my z-axis. Cool. Ooh. Okay, that's weird. That just got all loose. I'll fix that when this is running.
cannot say enough about how good oh gosh the uh, Langmuir Systems variable flute end mills are they are top tier just hog and material away alright uh, tool change somebody start a timer Ugh. swap that out Swap this in. Touch off. You cannot load another tool while the program is running, so I can't load in a uh, a uh, 1002 program. Another thing, this only retracts back to uh, well, plus one inch. So if I were to load up my next program, my 1002, let's, let's try that actually. If I click start, what happens? Oh, and it goes all the way up. Look at that. That's all I need. Thank you. 
so sorry about that. I got tired of getting splashed, so I decided I was just gonna leave y'all in there. Uh, program is complete. Send to front. Here she comes. Nice thing about going from eighth inch tooling to eighth inch tooling uh, is that it's light enough and it doesn't fall out when it's loose. The collet holds it enough. There's that. Auto tool set. And uh, load my third program, which is a chamfer, and start. Now I'm just going to dribble this one. Ooh, hello. So I'm going to turn my coolant back on. Give the part a rinse. And then we'll give her a blow dry. Focusing, yeah. I don't know if that's focusing or not, but look at the quality of that. That's pretty good. So now I'll take a bandsaw, I'll cut it across here, I'll flip this over, I'll face the other end, and this part is done. Alright, uh, hopefully that wasn't boring and you learned something, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.